AFC aircraft purchase agreement. How do I turn it on? Where are the ignition keys? Flying Fosh, we year since 1995. Welcome to Fosh Airways. This video has been sponsored by the legends over at Pouch. If you look up the word flexing in the dictionary, you'll find that the definition is cause a muscle to stand out by contract... No, wait, no, not this one. Yes, this one. Flexing is defined as to show something off or flaunt. Normally, one flexes their wealth. <laughs> YouTubers do it all the time with cars, money and jewellery. I've done this in the past by being the first YouTuber ever to own their own roundabout. Morning. But now... I want to go bigger and better than ever. Well, this is your business with you. What is the ultimate symbol of wealth and prestige? It's private jets. We see YouTubers always running around in their private jets, but they're all rented, not theirs. So what if I managed to worm my way into becoming the first YouTuber ever to purchase not only their own plane, but also an entire airline? Oh my god. <laughs> this was going to be my most expensive flex ever, and as a result, I needed to think outside the box. Right, it's 1.32 in the morning and my housemate is asleep so I need to be quiet. But I am so deep in a aviation legal rabbit hole it is unbelievable. Essentially, this is what you need to know for me to have my own airline. To make an airline an airline, you need something called an AOC, an Air Operating Certificate. Now, to get an AOC, it takes years and you need to go through all checks and tests. Now. I'm not going to be doing that. I have managed to find one tiny loophole uh, which might be able to help me in this instance. The change of a company name does not have an effect on the AOC. So if I can find an airline who has an AOC and they are willing to change their name for the briefest period of time, then I could take their AOC and then technically become the owner of an airline. That's the plan. I now need to find an airline that will do that. So my search for an airline was underway, and now this was the part that I thought would be really tricky, and I did have some interesting phone calls that I understood absolutely none of. To promote the single engine turboprop. Right. Um, Piper M600 Mighty M600. But after I'd sent hundreds of emails to private companies, I got lucky with an air charter company called Velare, as they had an employee who watches my videos. They agreed to this mad plan. And after I'd got an aviation lawyer and spent many, many hundreds of pounds, I had a contract that meant what I was doing was technically legal. It wasn't gonna be cheap, and we'll get to that in a bit, but I just now needed to go into Velare to get the contract signed. The contract that's needed to technically lease and own an airplane for a short period of time. That's amazing. How much does it cost to wrap your plane in the zebra? 50 grand. <laughs> We won't be doing that here at Fosh Airways. I've got airline purchase agreement, Fosh Airways. Yeah, do you want to, I'll get you a pen. Yeah, I need one of them to, uh, to sign a contract. Pen. Okay. <laughs> so this incorporates the AOC and also... AOC, AOC aircraft purchase agreement or yeah. lease agreement. Yeah. That's what we can go for. For a couple of weeks time. Yeah. So I've got, it, I've got it for about two hours. Yeah. For a couple of weeks time. Right. Okay. Fosh Airways. <laughs> right, okay. And just like that, it was done. Perfect. Is that, is that everything you need? That's everything you need, yeah. Perfect. Well, nice. let's do business with you. See you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Two weeks later. It was the day in which the contract came into effect and was the first and only flight of Fosh Airways. Oh my God. <laughs> Flying Fosh wing it since 1995. In total, this airline business was costing me seven and a half grand. And so I needed a bit of help. And obviously, uh, all new airlines need a bit of a cash injection when they first start, and here at Flying Fosh we're no different. Um, so I'd like to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Pouch, because they've literally made this all happen. But who are Pouch? Come on in. Pouch is a free desktop extension that finds and applies discount codes for when you're shopping online. The in-flight entertainment system here on Flying Fosh is a perfect example as how Pouch saved me money. I wanted an in-flight entertainment system that both entertained our passengers, also showcased the smooth ride that we have here on Flying Fosh. So I bought Jenga. When I was buying the Jenga on the works, Pouch automatically popped up, found and applied the best discount codes, and I saved £13.95. That's 12%. Pouch works on over 3,000 UK websites like Tesco, Amazon and Domino's, which is more than any other similar browser extension in the UK. Pouch only takes a couple of clicks to install and make sure you pin it to your browser. 
This is a must have for your Black Friday shopping, so get Pouch for free right now by clicking the link at the top of this video's description. Cheers Pouch. Now let's have a look around the airline that they bought me. How do I turn it on? Where are the ignition keys? Right hand seat, we'll get, uh, left hand, get the left hand seat. Yeah. Welcome aboard. Do you want to just fire this puppy up, shall we? Uh, yeah. There we go. Welcome to Fosh Airways, the flying Fosh, winging it since 1995. I didn't have a Scooby what I was doing, but luckily I wasn't the one who was going to be flying the jet. Engine oil press, yeah. Guys, engine oil press all good, yeah? Alti, what do you think about the flight, Alti, Alti wise, guys? 30,000, yeah, sweet, yeah, I thought so. Cool, I mean, all looks good in here. Buttons are here. So, uh, let's get some blooming passengers. Passengers were, of course, needed if the Flying Fosh was going to have its maiden flight as an airline. And so I put a call out onto my Instagram to try and find people who wanted to do something nice for one of their friends. There was only going to be a maximum of four passengers, so it was a pretty exclusive trip. Absolutely fun. Great parking, sir. Hello guys, welcome. Are you my passengers? Hello. Lovely to meet you. Hello guys. So two of you don't really know what's going on, although you could probably take a guess. Yeah. Ladies and gents, you are the proud first passengers on Max Fosh's own airline, Flying Fosh. <laughs> Did you pack your bags yourselves? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the airline has got one plane. It's a Challenger 605. It seats 11 people. Um, we're going to be doing a 30 minute flight from Oxford to Oxford, <laughs> just you know, getting up and then coming straight back down Very again. Nice. Um, but yes, we've got all of your favourite things on board as well. Um, so there's a few more surprises in stow. Um, but we could take off. Is it one o'clock? Is it one o'clock, Alessandro? Thirteen hundred local. Thirteen hundred local. This airline lingo, of course, is what they're talking about. As thirteen hundred local drew ever nearer, the flying Fosh got put into position, and myself and my passengers took the shortest taxi ride to the jet. Welcome the men on board, of course. So why don't you come along for the ride? We were greeted on the tarmac by the flying Fosh captain and first officer. Our guests were then welcomed on board and given some delightful canopies with the finest smoked salmon that Pouch could buy. Yeah, go for it. I mean, that's, that's all yours. <laughs> Are they good? Yeah. Yeah, deli like, genuinely really delicious. Um Sumaya was our flight attendant today and she would be looking after us for our short trip. It was then time to fly and we strapped in because remember, safety doesn't take a day off. It's time to fly. It's time to fly. <laughs> that is power. That is mental. Take off on the inaugural flight on Flying Fosh, Fosh Airways. This is mental. To give an idea at the luxuriousness of the seats on the Flying Fosh, five foot two Georgia couldn't even touch the floor. <laughs> You're so much where your feet don't even touch the floor. <laughs> That's incredible. As the Flying Fosh went up, up and away into the Oxfordshire clouds, out came the champagne and the delightful pizza and fresh burrata. I've lost a tomato on the way. It's absolutely fine, I'll sleep here. Oh, and finally, there was just enough time for some in-flight entertainment to really entertain our guests, but also to highlight the stability of the flying fosh. I don't think anybody's played Jenga on a private jet before. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first thing to pack. So next time you're flying, remember, you could always fly fosh airway. Also, ladies and gents, make sure you remember to download Pouch. Cheers.